Hi, Honks and Lee. This story is more funny and relatively innocent, but panic ensued. Okay, that's cute. End us off with something nice and light. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, my wife and I moved into a brand new house last November. I had bought some do-it-yourself sticky sheets that were like fake backsplash that you can stick to the wall yourself. I got them so I could put them up behind our stove. About a month into us being there, she was at work on a Friday, so I decided I would do my little project. I was able to successfully stick one to two sheets up. Then I messed up and stuck one on a little crooked. Then I had to cut through the thick plastic of the fake backsplash pattern to cut a place for an outlet. And it did not go well. So a little after a while, well, a oh, after a little while of struggling, I decided uh, just to take it down because it wasn't working well for me at all. When I peeled them off the wall, three to four layers of brand new paint came along with it. I panicked so bad and I Fuck. had no choice but to keep going. So when it all was... So when it was all peeled, the wall looked like absolute garbage. Paint had come off in splotches all over my botched job. I ran around the house not knowing what to do. <laughs> I was like, ding, 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 ding. Or running like, 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 like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah from corner, <laughs> just from corner to corner. You run and you stand in the corner. Like and then when you, you get your sugar rush and you're just like, zing, zing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's... <laughs> I ran around the house not knowing what to do. Then I remembered we had some small paint cans in the garage that had that the builders had left. So I went out and got the new, the ones that matched our walls and had to use my nice art paint brushes to paint the paint or to apply the paint. It took forever. Finally, I decided I had no choice but to go to Walmart to get a paint roller. It was only about an hour and a half until my wife was going to be home. So I quickly got dressed and went to the stove, grabbed a roller and set to work. I had to put another four layers of paint to cover up what I did. Uh, then I get... Uh, then I had to get our tower fan to blow on the wall oh. so it would dry faster and my wife would not know what I had done. LMAO. The wall dried in time and I put everything back so it looked like nothing happened. Wow. She never knew. So the funniest part about the story is I literally just told her the story last weekend for the first time and we both had a huge laugh about it. She thought it was the funniest thing and then she said, you should submit this to Tea Time. And I really? said, yeah, yeah, if they ever come up with a prompt for stories about secrets you keep from your partner. And guess what? The next week, you did. Super fucking weird, my dudes. We have both written to you gals multiple times now. My wife is the welder. Stay golden, pony gals. XOXOXO. That's really, really cute. It's really funny that you kept that from her. That's Yeah, that was really wholesome that and cute. That was wholesome. Also, <laughs> what an innocent, like, harmless, cute thing. Yeah, that was cute. That was really cute. There's no rape or pedophiles in that one. Yeah, it's not, you're like, <laughs> my wife was yeah. at work. We had just gotten a new stove, so I fucked a little kid inside of it. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> and the little kid had the same name as my wife yeah take it becky it's like, yeah um oh. that's uh, that was a really sweet and wholesome i really enjoyed that that no. was a nice palette because now i'm so decent did you see that i was so desensitized to like all like the rape and stuff we're like reading through it we're like yeah yeah yeah, okay okay yeah yeah and then we get to like a backsplash paint job gone wrong yeah and you and i are hooting and hollering 